So before anything else, uh, Reina Risa. Yes, sir. Can you, you please lead us a short prayer? Okay, so let us pray. Lord, we offer to you our class today. We pray that through your divine guidance, we would learn how to listen attentively to the inputs of our teacher. May we appreciate his effort in imparting his knowledge to us. May we participate actively in the discussions and activities so we could learn more while having fun. Grant that we could recognize you in each of our classmates and teacher. As we leave for home, we pray that keep us safe from harm and illness, and we would be able to apply correctly what we have learned. All this we ask in your powerful name. Amen. Hello class, welcome to another session of Chemistry for Engineers. So today, our discussion is focused on gases. To understand gases, let us recall some of its important properties. Remember that uh, particles of this type of matter are scattered. Or to put it in another way, its molecules are far from each other. So gases are also... Gases are also known not to have a definite shape, hence they only follow to the shape of their containers, okay? Gases do not have definite volume too. And when moderately high pressure or MPH is applied, gases can be compressed, okay? So gases can be compressed or expanded. So gases are known to exhibit great expansion when heating and that they have low density, okay? So very important concept that we have to understand for us to be able to understand gases is pressure. So ano tong pressure? What is pressure? For gas molecules, collision of gases produce pressure. Okay, pressure is known as the force exerted per unit area by gas molecules as they strike the surface as shown in the picture. Okay. The stand unit of pressure is ATM or atmospheric pressure. Ito yon. So, one ATM is equal to 760 torr, is equal to 760 millimeter of mercury, is equal to 101325 pascal, or is equal to 14.7 psi. To understanding pressure further, pressure is measured using a barometer, first by Evangelista Torricelli by using atmospheric pressure. Remember that pressure exerted by a gas is dependent on the number of gas particles in a given volume, okay? As shown in the picture, the one with lower volume has lower pressure and the one with the higher volume has higher pressure, okay? Another important concept to remember is manometer or yung tinatawag natin pressure gauge, which measures pressure in a closed system. Okay, any question? Okay, we proceed. Another important concept is the kinetic molecular theory, which is best illustrated by the graphics on the slide, okay? Kinetic molecular theory has important implication that grounds many properties and behavior of gases. So the first one is the gases consists of tiny and submicroscopic molecules and that volume occupied by gases consists mostly of empty space. Okay. In addition to that, distance between molecules cause the attractive forces or the IMF be negligible. So these things explain why gases do not have def definite shape 
and volume. So continuing the discussion of KMT, it also posits that the movement of gas molecules is continuous random motion. Okay, they move in a straight path and when they bounce to form surfaces or other molecules, collisions are perfectly elastic. Okay. Moreover, it also provides the ground that kinetic energy of the system is directly proportional to Kelvin temperature. We hence the uh, when temperature is changed, kinetic energy is changed in the same way. Okay. So having discussed the important concept on gases, we then proceed to gas laws. And for us to understand gas laws, there are three important concepts to take into consideration. So which are this one, pressure in ATM, atmosphere, volume in liters, and temperature in Kelvin. Okay. So there are eight gas laws, which are to discuss in the chapter. They are Boyce law, Charles law, Gay-Lussac law, combined gas law, Avogadro's law, ideal gas, Dalton's, and Graham. So, ito yung law. The first focus of our discussion is yung Boyce law. So one of the simplest and the most common gas laws. So this law was observed through the experiment of Robert Boyle and Robert Hooke, who used a ito, J tube to measure the volume of a simple gas at different pressure. So to do so, they trap a, a sample of air in the J tube and added mercury, ito, HD natin, to increase the pressure of the gas. Yeah, as seen in the picture, the added mercury compresses the gas that's increasing pressure. Okay? With their experiment, they observed an inverse relationship between volume and pressure. Hence, an increase in one causes a decrease in the other. So as seen, As seen on the graph, pressure is low at a greater volume while pressure is high at a smaller vol volume of a gas, okay? To simply put it, what happens to the other opposite happens to the other, okay? So looking further at Boyle's law, at the molecular level, so as the volume of a gas sample is decreased, Okay, gas molecules collide with surrounding surfaces. So more frequently resulting in a greater pressure and as previously discussed, pressure is a result of collision. So more collisions that occurs means higher pressure, okay? So the next gas law that we'll discuss is Charles which sim simply states that the volume of a fixed amount of gas at a constant pressure increases linearly with increasing temperature in Kelvins. Okay? As shown in the graph, the direct relationship between volume and temperature can be observed regardless of the number of moles of the gas as long as the pressure is held constant. As you can see here, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, uh, 1.0 mole. So exhibits the same pattern, which is as temperature increases, so does volume. Okay. So let's try to look at Charles low in a molecular level naman tayo through, he, through this setup on, on this image. Okay. If we move a balloon from the ice, water bath, okay, to a boiling uh, water bath, its volume expands as the gas particles with the 
with the balloon move faster so due to increased temperature okay and collectively occupy more space so the increased kinetic energy of the gases leads to increased temperature as posited by KMT so up uh, as previously discussed gases greatly expands with increased temperature hence the large change in volume okay the next ano uh, the next gas law is Gay-Lussac so which simply states that the pressure exerted by gas so of a given mass and kept at a constant volume okay varies directly with the absolute temperature in kelvin yan okay in the sense in this sense pressure is exerted by a gas is proportional to the temperature of a gas when the volume is constant okay this fact can be easily depicted on the graph, which show, shows the direct relationship between uh, pressure and the, this one, pressure and the temperature. Hence, to simply put it, what happens to one, same happens to the other as proven by the line graph. So as you can see here, the temperature in Kelvin, which is 100 Kelvin, and the uh, Pressure is uh, one atmosphere, so and so and so on and so forth. Okay. So before we proceed to the next uh, gas law, let us first try to summarize the basic key point of the three uh, most common of the simplest gas laws. So for Boyce's law. We have uh, discussed that the temperature is held constant and it, look, it looks uh, into relationship between pressure and volume. So PV relationship is given to us by 1 over alpha eto. So, which signifies inverse proportion, okay? In other words, as pressure increases, volume decreases and pressure decreases, volume increases, okay? So, the mathematical relationship is represented by the equation. So, pressure 1 multiply, multiplied to volume 1, is equal to pressure 2 multiplied to volume 2, okay? On the other hand, for Charles' law, pressure is held constant and that the volume and temperature relationship is signified by an alpha, which means direct proportion, okay? So, which means that whatever happens to the temperature happens to the volume, okay? This relationship is represented by the mathematical equation, volume 1, okay, divided by temperature 1 is equal to volume 2 divided by temperature 2, okay? Nakakasunod pa ba? So, lastly, for Gay-Lussac's law, volume is held constant, okay? Pressure and temperature is directly proportional. This implies that as pressure increases, temperature also increases. As the pressure decreases, temperature also decreases, okay? So this is rep represented by the equation pressure 1 over temperature 1 is equal to pressure 2 over temperature 2, okay? Looking further into the connection of the three laws, we actually can derive the fourth gas law, which is known as the combined gas law, uh, which states that the pressure is inversely proportional to the volume, while volume 
is directly proportional to the temperature and temperature directly proportional to pressure. Paras lang yun. A pressure is directly proportional to temperature. So, the PV relationship is from Boyle's. Okay? So, VT relationship is from Charles. And PT relationship is from gay Lussacs. So the combined gas law is then represented by the equation pressure one multiplied ito, pressure one multiplied to volume one divided by temperature one is equal to pressure two multiplied to volume two divided by the temperature two. Okay. Okay, the next law I, I called Avogadro law. So it applies. Yeah. So it simply states that the volume is directly proportional to the number of moles of a gas molecules. Okay. So in this case, temperature is held constant and the volume and the number of moles. So represented by the small letter N. Yan. So directly proportional siya. This means that the, the more number of moles, the larger the volume while having less number of moles will also result to lower volume. Okay? So this uh, is mathematically expressed as volume 1 divided by the first ito number of moles. So, is equal to volume 2 divided by the second number of moles of a gas. Okay? As seen in the graph, as the amount of gas in moles increases, okay, the volume increases as well. Diba? Okay? So, this time, from the three relationship discussed, they can be combined into a single law that encompasses of all of all them. So this is known as the ideal gas law. Okay. So the ideal gas law allow allows us to find one of the variables if if we know the other three, which includes the R. So knowing R natin, it is gas constant. Okay. So this is represented by the equation PV is equal to NRT. Okay, PV relationship is this one. Boys, di ba? And VT relation, VT, okay, relationship is from Charles and VN relationship is from Avogadro's, okay? So with the equation PV is equal to NRT, there are two equivalent values, okay? Representing R or the ideal gas law constant, which is R is equal to 0 0.0821 liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin. And it also equal, equal to R, yeah, 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. So re remember that, uh, the, the value of R is dependent on the units of the other variables involved. Excuse me. It's specifically pressure. Okay? Spe spe specifically pressure, uh, volume, and temperature. Okay? We're running out of time. Okay? Ay. Okay. Medyo pambilisan ko na. So, another important uh, consideration is uh, in the discussion of gas laws is the fact that the volume of gas varies okay, with pressure and temperature. Hence, uh, chemists have agreed on the set of conditions to report measurements so that the comparison is easy. So, this set is 
uh, condition is known as the standard condition. So commonly known as STP. At STP, the standard temperature is zero degrees Celsius or simply uh, 273.15 Kelvin. So the standard pressure is one atmosphere and the standard number of mole is uh, number of mole is one mole, okay? So in relationship to STP, the volume occupied by one mole is a uh, substance is its smaller volume which can be computed replacing the other values at uh, STP. So it, N is one mole multiplied to the ideal gas law constant at 0 0.08 to 0 0.06 liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin uh, multiplied to 273.15. This one supposedly uh, 273.15 Kelvin uh, divided by one atmosphere, which uh, will give the molar volume of 22.4 liter at STP. Okay, remember that it is important to recognize that one mole uh, measure of different gases have different masses, okay? Even though they have the same volume at STP as you can see here, okay? So the next gas low is Daltons. So Daltons involves the concept of partial pressure which is the pressure of a single gas in a mixture of gases. So Dalton's law states that the, the sum of partial pressures of all the gases in the mixture equals to the total pressure. So mathematically, it is, a, is represented as the total pressure is equal to partial pressure of A plus partial pressure of B plus and so on and so forth. So remember that the components depend on the number of gases present in the mixture, okay? So ito na last na tayo. So the last is the Graham law. And in understanding this law, there are two important concepts to consider, which is the diffusion and effusion. So the process of the uh, collection of molecules is spreading out from high concentration to low concentrated concentration is called diffusion, okay? The process by which a collection of molecules escapes through a small hole into a vacuum is called effusion. So, Graham states that the rate of effusion or diffusion of gas is inversely proportional to the square root of its molar mass. Okay, this means that as the root of molar mass increases, the slower the gas, while the uh, as the root of the molar mass decreases, okay, the faster the gas. So this is represented by the equation rate one over rate two is equal to uh, square root of uh, the molar mass two over the square root of the molar mass one. Okay, so we have more uh, five minutes more. Okay. Uh, I-review lang natin yung napag-aralan natin. Okay, let's review guys. So sa tingin nyo, what is pressure? Anyone? Ako lang sharing ah. Collision of gases. Sino yan? Mark Jan Flake, sir. So, come on. Uh, review lang tayo. Naintindihan nyo ba? <laughs> o oh, mabilis. So, guys, ano, what is pressure? Okay. 
Si Max ba yun? I can hear. Hindi ko naririnig. So, pressure is defined as the physical force exerted on an object. Okay? So, next question. What is the standard unit for pressure? Atmosphere, sir. Mark. Okay. Mark, ano? Atmosphere, sir. Next question. What does uh, KMT stand for? Basta kang boses mo, Max. Hindi kita naririn eh. So, KMT stand for Kinetic Molecular Theory, okay? So, next question, what is constant for boils? Sino makakasagot? Temperature, sir. Lance? Temperature, sir. Okay, good. So, this law states that V is directly proportional to T. Uh, so, which law is this? This law states that V is directly proportional to T. Which law is this? Charles' law, sir. <laughs> Sino yan? Si Frank? Yes, sir. Frank, sir. Okay, good. Charles' law. So next, P is blank with T according to Lusak's law. P is blank with T according to Gay Lusak's. Directly proportional. Sino yun? Kirk Mag po. Ha? Kirk po. Kirk? Okay. Directly proportional, okay? Next, which identities are looked into the Avogadro's law? Which identities are looked into by Avogadro's law? I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I would like to recognize Sir... Di, hindi na kita nabanggit. Sir Cesar Medula, RCNS Director. Sorry, sir. Okay, next. Uh, review let review. Meron pa tayong one minute. So, what, what is the value of R? Sino makasagot? Sir, 8.314 joules mol, mol Kelvin ba po, sir? Okay. Max, ano? What is the formula of ideal gas law? Formula of ideal